Hello students, my name is Somit Mehta. Today in this lecture we will discuss about isosceles and equilateral triangles. Okay, so uh, in my first lecture on triangle and its property, I have told you about what are isosceles triangle and what are equilateral triangles. Okay, so let me write it again. What are isosceles triangle? Okay. The isosceles triangle is that triangle in which two sides of the triangle is equal. You can say if AB equal AC, if you can see from the diagram, okay, if these two sides are equal, so I can write this triangle is an isosceles triangle, okay. So based on this, and if these two sides are equal, so the angle opposite to these sides means this angle and this so the angle b will equal to angle c okay so this is a property of isosceles triangle means in which i am writing here angle opposite to equal sides of a triangle are equal okay i hope you guys can now remember the property based on isosceles triangle okay this is the property which states that the angle opposite to equal, equal sides of a triangle means the angle b and the c which are opposite to ac and ab respectively are equal so there can be many questions based in exam which can come okay so let me give you one example based on isosceles angle property and here we are given that this a b c and a b equal b c okay so this angle is 90 and So, and we have to find out this x and this angle, okay, y. And this is given to us is 90. So, what I can do here is if I am given AB equal AC, so can I write the angle opposite to AB will be x? Angle x will be equal to angle y by using angle opposite to so you can write this here angle opposite to equal sides of a triangle are equal so now as i told you in my previous lecture that the sum of the all the angles of a triangle are equal so by this angle x plus angle y plus angle b which is 90 degree should be equals to 180 okay and angle h equal angle y so can i can replace angle y with angle x so this is coming out to be twice of angle x plus 90 equal 180 degree so coming out to be twice of angle x would be 90 so you can find out the value of x will comes out to be 45 degree so this angle is 45 so angle this is also equals to 45 so i hope students you are pretty clear about the property based on isosceles triangle now let us come to equilateral triangle so students now let's come to equilateral triangle as i have told you in my previous lecture on triangle and its property there i told you what is equilateral triangle so students i hope you guys are remember what is equilateral triangle so i can write directly ab equal bc equal ca in case of equilateral triangle and then now the property of equilateral triangle is that the all the angles means the angle a angle b and angle c all are equal in an equilateral triangle means angle a equal angle b equal angle c angles of equilateral triangle so if i use the property 
so I can say h plus h plus h equal 180 sum of angles of a triangle okay so this is coming out to be 3h equal 180 h would be 60 degree so in an equilateral triangle the angle should always be equals to 60 degree students okay so this is the property of equilateral triangle all the angles should equal to 60 degree okay so now let's come to another topic which is which is sum of the length of two sides of a triangle so student there can be many questions asked to you guys in the exam based on this property okay it states that if in a triangle ABC the sum of the length of two sides means sum of the length of two sides AB plus BC should always be greater than the third side means AC you can take any two sides and the sum of these two sides should always be greater than the third side now let's take another two sides if I say AC plus BC this should also be greater than AB so student this is a very important property okay from exam point of view so kindly remember this from your heart okay it states that the sum of any two sides means the sum of any two sides of a length of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side okay students now let's come to the question part how the question will come into exam okay we are given a triangle ABC okay and AB is given to us 5 and BC is given to us 3 now we have to find out CA can I write AB plus BC should always be greater than CA so 5 plus 3 is always greater than CA so I am getting here is CA is less than 8 so I can write directly as my answer would be the value of CA the length of CA would always be less than 8 centimeter okay students so I hope you guys can now easily solve the question based on this property also in which it states that the sum of the lengths of two sides of a triangle are greater than the third side okay okay students i hope you are pretty clear about this lecture and if you have still any query or any question based on this then please do comment in the comment section student i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning